now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Yo, home to Bel Air! In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and all shooting some b ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood, I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, You're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I baked and pleaded with her day after day, but she packed my suitcase and sent me on my way. She gave me a kiss and then she gave me my ticket. I put my walkman on and said, I might as well kick it. First class, yo, this is bad. Drinking on juice out of a champagne glass. Is this what the people of Bel Air living like? Hmm, this might be alright. But wait, I hear the prissy bourgeois and all that. Is this the type of place that they just send this cool cat? I don't think so. I see when I get there. I hope they're prepared for the Prince of Bel Air. Well, uh, the plane landed, and when I came out, there was a dude look like a cop standing there with my name out. I ain't trying to get arrested yet. I just got here. I sprang with the quickness like lightning disappeared. I whistled for a cab, and when it came near, the license plate said freshen and dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this cab was rare, but I thought, man, forget it. Yo, home to Bel Air! About seven or eight, and I yelled to the cabbie, Go home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air.